Knock knock. Hello. Hi, may I come in? Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Pearl and I am from Occupational Therapy. How are you? Good, good. Well, and who's in the room with you here actually? Okay. Okay, family. Well, it's wonderful to meet you too. Don't mind me if it's okay. I'm just going to pop in for a couple minutes. I just have to do a quick evaluation. The doctor would like me to assess how you're doing with some of your um, functional activities so we can decide, you know, if you're safe to go home or if we need to keep you in the hospital a little bit longer. Yes. Does that make sense? Wonderful. Well, I'm just going to ask you a few questions and I'm going to go through a list of activities to try and then um, I'll be out here and I'll let you guys all visit together. Sound okay? Great. I'm gonna get my clipboard out. Well, first, write my name down. And how do you spell your name? So M. Okay. E. Okay. O. Okay. I gotcha. Okay. Great. Thank you. Wonderful. So, on a scale of zero to ten, what would you rate your pain? Ten being emergency room pain, like the worst you've ever had. About a four. Okay. A four out of ten. Okay. And where is that pain? In that hip. Yeah, I figured. Remind me you had surgery on the right hip. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. And I'm going to get a chance to check your chart here. We just didn't have, since you just got admitted, we didn't have all your info in there yet. Tell me a little bit about what happened, though. It sounds like maybe you had a fall. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take some notes. Okay. I'm listening, though. Okay, it was at home. Okay, tell me how you landed. Yeah, where were your hands? Did you have any fractures found in your upper extremity? On your upper body, on your hands or arms? Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, good. I see. Yes. Oh, that's very typical. You were, th you were there for a little bit, huh? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay. I know that's hard. I know. If it makes you feel any better, this is common. People come in a lot who have fallen and just, they just were there for a little bit. The life alert either didn't work or they didn't have it on them or it wrapped around. I've heard it all. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I am really thankful that you're here now though, okay? You are in the right place and I can just tell you have a beautiful attitude. I think you're going to be okay. All we ask, you give us 50%, we'll give you the other 50%, okay? We'll work together, we're a team. Okay, let me ask a few other questions. Tell me about your home setup. Um, how many steps do you have to get into your home? Okay. And you live in... Remind me of the town? Okay. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Who do you live with? Alone. Okay, that would explain why you were on the on the floor for a while. Okay. Alone. Okay. Perfect. Let me see what else. Tell me about your bathroom. Do you have a walk-in shower or a tub shower? A walk-in. Okay. Good. Good. Shower bench? Okay. Good. Any grab bars for the toilet? No grab bars. Okay. Do you feel like those might be handy for you if you do head home? Okay, good. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see, what else do I have to ask you? Let me think. Um, I would like to find out a little more about your prior level of functioning, is what we call it. So essentially how you were doing things at home before the fall, okay? So, when you were getting dressed, when you were going to the bathroom, when you were taking a shower, did you have anyone helping you? No, all independent. Okay. So independent for all ADLs. How about meals? How did you make your meals? Okay. Meals are meals. Great. Okay. And family would bring... Family brought dinners. Okay. Family nearby then. Perfect. Okay. So they're right down the road. And that's... I gotcha. So you usually bring over meals for them? I gotcha. Thank you. Medications. Are you managing your own meds? 
Okay, do you have a pillbox? Okay, okay. Do you have any concerns with how that's going? Yes, okay. I see. No, that's smart. Yes, you should probably reach out to the pharmacy. I can also let our care coordinator here know about that concern, okay? It gets tricky. No, you're not the only one. It gets very tricky. You get more medications you have to manage, and you know, the labels are always printed small. There's lots of things that can make it complicated. Sometimes it's hard to pick up such small items. But you do have a mailbox. Because sometimes you can get, and I'll talk to, um, yeah, I'll talk to our care coordinator. You can get prepackaged. The pharmacy will prepackage all of your medications in one pouch per day or per time if you take them twice a day. Yeah, it's very handy. A lot of people do use them. I'd be happy to try to get you set up with that, okay? Wonderful. Okay, let me just make a note to myself on that. Okay, let me think what else. Um, driving. Do you have a license? Family drives you. Okay. Okay. It's hard, but I'm glad. That's probably a good choice. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Have you ever had, I should have started with this, have you ever had occupational therapy before? Just, just while you were at the hospital before. Okay. Yeah. So I can explain a little bit. So where you are now, it's my goal from occupational therapy to get you back to doing all of those functional activities like getting dressed, going to the bathroom, making meals, or heating up your meals at least. All of those things, it's my job to get you back to doing that at the same level you were doing it before you came to the hospital. And I also like to hear, what kind of hobbies do you have? What do you enjoy to do? Isn't that fun? Oh, I'm so glad you're not the only one I've heard say that. That's such a fun hobby. If you have any concerns, we can also practice making sure you're able to sew and read and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I know after a fall like yours and having the hip replacement, yes, and your upper body, we really want to make sure. So you're going to see occupational therapy once a day, physical therapy twice a day. And we, from the OT side of things, we're really going to focus on that upper body strength. Um, you really need that strength to be able to push out of a chair, you know? Yep, that's the most important thing for that functional mobility, is what we call that. Um, and we also want to just maintain strength throughout. You know, it doesn't make sense to only work on the lower body. PT is going to focus more on your walking. I see you have a front wheel walker over there. Is that from home? Okay, and it's got the tray too, right? Okay, yes. Okay, I think we're going to bring in a two a two-wheel walker for you right now because um, sometimes the four-wheel walkers can get away with you, especially with your precautions. Speaking of which, could you list back your precautions to me? Good. What's that last one? Yes. Good. So no crossing the legs. No rotating your foot inwards and no rotation. And no bending at the head past 90 degrees. Do you feel okay with abiding by those precautions so far? I think they've been going okay. Good, okay. Everyone here is going to be keeping an eye out for those two. Yes, and sometimes that walker can, um, the two-wheel walker can be a little easier, especially if we're trying to manage those precautions. Good. We'll have PT get in here and get you sized for that. And actually, I could, I'll grab one here when I step out. I can get it for you. We don't really need PT to do that, but, yeah. We do need PT, but just not for that. I can do that part. Okay, well, before I get back to the doctor, I do have to see a couple things from you. So, I'm going to give you a choice. I would like to either see if you can put on and take off your socks. Don and doff them for me. Um, either we can do that, or if you have to get up and use the bathroom, we can go ahead and do that. Do you have a preference, or do you need to use the bathroom? No? Okay, perfect. Well, I'm going to have you take a look at your hip kit over there. Mm-hmm. And have you ever used the Reacher before? Oh, good. You had one at home. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I suppose I don't need to demonstrate for you, but you're going to use that Reacher. Go ahead and show me, because of course you can't bend at the hip. So show me how you would get your socks off with your precautions. Yep. I'm going to have you sit up in bed. If you can get to the edge of the bed and just sit there for me, that'd be great. That'd be good for me to see. Okay. Let 
Let me lower the bed here, okay? I'm gonna lower the bed. You ready? Okay, let me know. I'm just gonna get you all the way flat. Okay, good. Okay, go ahead, come on up. Oh, no kidding. Right down the street. Oh, that's fun. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> Small world, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Okay. So how would you... Good. Hook. Yes. Remember, keep your feet facing forward. I don't want them rotating in, okay? Keep those feet facing forward. Go ahead and tuck underneath. Yep, if you tuck from the heel and wiggle those toes. Good. Okay. Great. You can hand them to me. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. I got your socks here. We do have to make sure that you have the grip socks before you get up, okay? Yep, no walking without the grip socks, and please no walking without someone in here with you. Just because of your precautions, it's kind of cover our butts, too. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. And we want that gate belt on you. I know. It doesn't quite match, does it? It never quite matches the outfits, but it's quite the fashion statement. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Have you ever used the sock gait? Oh, you've done half my job for me. Very good. Your last OT did a great job. Okay, go ahead, show me how you get your socks out on the sock gait. Oh, do you hear the cat? That's our hospital cat. She makes her rounds, meows at the door, always says hi to everyone. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check for swelling and edema, okay? Get some gloves on here. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to check because sometimes after a surgery like yours, we can get swelling. Have you ever worn any compression before? No? Okay. Let me just take a look what I'm going to do before you get your socks back on. Is feel on your legs here, okay? Okay, so I'm looking for shininess, which your legs, your one leg, your right side, yeah, is a little shinier. Okay, I'm going to press in and see if there's any pitting and to you. Does it feel heavier? It does look a little heavier to me. I'm, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put it in order for two grip stockings. Um, I'll let the, the charge nurse know. She can let the doctor know. Um, and once we get those orders, then I can come back with different sizes tomorrow. Okay. Yes. That sounds great. And that would just be, it'll make you more comfortable. Until then, I'd like you to get the leg elevated in bed. I will let nursing know that as well. Lots of water. I want you drinking lots of water. We're not monitoring your intake here, so go ahead and drink lots of water for me. Okay? Good. Okay, go ahead and get those socks back on. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You got it. Just like that. Yeah, just pull it around. Yes, you got it. Good. Good. Great. The only other thing I just need to see you do is maybe just get up and then we can move over to the chair. Then we'll have you seated up and ready to visit with your family. Does that sound okay? Wonderful. I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Let me get that gate bell around you. Clasp that in the front. Okay. Come on up. I'm just going to hang on here. Okay, good. Good. Go ahead and just take two steps. Two steps. How's your pain while you're moving? It's a little worse. Okay. It's, okay. About six out of ten. Okay. While you're moving, good. Go ahead and step. Yeah. Step with that affected foot first. Okay. And Wonderful. Let me get your tray here in front of you. You got some water there. Good. Yep. Keep drinking that. Can I get you anything else while I'm here? Okay. It's such a pleasure to meet you, okay? I really look forward to meeting you. Or to working with you. I did meet you. Um, our goals, as I said, we're going to work on that upper body strength, okay? Actually, go ahead and put your arms straight out for me for a moment. I'm going to push down. Don't let me move you. So strong. Good. Okay. Like this for me, please. Okay. I'm going to move you. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Good. Go ahead. Squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Hard, 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 hard. Okay. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Can you get your arms up behind your head? Let's play Simon Says, just like what I'm doing. Okay. Good. Come on out like you're a bird. Good. How about elbows? Can you move your elbows? Good. Wrists. Good. In and out, just like that. Good. Okay some to each finger. Wonderful. Okay. Very, very good. Go. 
full range of motion there. You've got some good strength. I am pleased with that. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, as I said, OT is going to be here once a day, maybe twice sometimes. I'll probably pop back tomorrow. I'm going to help you with getting dressed, going to the bathroom, taking showers. We're going to assess all of that. Um, I will check you out for the two-week rib stockings, and we'll work on that upper body strength. Oh, it's looking pretty good. But we want to maintain that while you're here in the hospital, okay? Such a pleasure, and thank you so much for letting me have some of your time. I hope you guys get to visit a little more. It sounds like our goal is to get back home. What we're going to do while you're here is assess whether that's still the safest option by the end of your stay here. Typically with people with your reasoning for being here with a hip precaution, um, it is a safe bet. So, we will keep you posted. You know, you are part of this team. We will all chat together about this decision making. When you've had falls like this and you are at home alone, you know, that is cause for concern. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. But, at the same time, you have time, you're in the right place, we have time to help you get back to a good functioning level. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, we always want to hear your input too. Okay. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you. You have a good, good visit with your family, okay? Okay. We'll talk a little bit soon.